internal styles internal styles are also known as embedded styles because it is embedded it into the html page only but where inside the head section okay so how it will be written like this see head section and then here there will be style opening tag and style closing tag here you have to write type equals to text slash css and here there will be the css of the elements okay so as you have seen just now that inline tag styles affects only that element which declare it's however if you want to use similar formatting for all the tags of the same type on a web page you should use internal or embedded style now like in one single page there are so many h3 or h1 tags now what will happen you will not obviously not want that heading those headings in different different styles okay in single page it, there is always like if we we can say theme okay if we have to set a theme according to that we have to set all the headings to be in a same style okay so it is better to use internal or embedded styles at that time okay because if you are using this style then this style will be applied to whole page got it that means if you are putting h3 css over here then all h3 will be having same styles if you are putting h1 css here then all h1 will be having same style okay if you are putting p tag style paragraph style over there in the css means here that means the all the paragraphs on the page will be having same style okay so rather than inline style it is better to use internal styles okay like if we don't have to change the specific heading then we can use internal styles and it will be applied to entire web page okay so to create an embedded style instead of adding the style attribute to a tag got it here we don't have to add the style attribute to the tag itself okay here we have to put style in the head section okay so the style element must have type text css here one element will be there type text css okay as an attribute for the browser to read the style rules okay if we will write this means browser will understand that the person has added styles style over here okay so to embed a style you can use style tag got it this is style tag this we have to write inside the head tag okay you can write it below the title tag or above the title title tag got it it is within the tag head tag only the style definition for different tags given under style tag inside head tag form the internal style sheet for a web page if you are writing the style definition in the style tag inside head tag then it is known as internal style sheet okay for a web page for example to create an internal style sheet to define formatting style for all h3 tags okay so here we will learn to add internal styles to all h3 tags so what you have to do i uh, first of all you have to start with html tag then you have to write head tag then you can mention the title tag also then after that you have to write style type equals to text css in double quotes this is attribute type is the attribute and text css is in double quote and it is a value so here then you have to write h3 then curly bracket we i told you the properties we have discussed earlier so this is first property this is second property okay first of all element name that means the tag that you want to design then curly bracket okay then font hyphen family then colon then vardana it is a font name then semicolon then color this is second property then its value okay colon and the value and then curly bracket if you want to add more properties then put semicolon and then put the properties and so on then this means the css rule defined for h3 and written inside curly bracket okay this css will be applied to all h3 present in your html document got it then this is head style tag closed head tag closed and then you can start the body tag and then you can create a nice web page okay so we will see the example now before that internal styles are applicable to entire web page okay that is to all the tags of same type in the web page in which they are placed now example so html code is there 
in which we will, we will demonstrate internal and embedded style sheet so this is html then head then title is written then below title the style is added okay so style opening tag then type equals to text css then table so here they are applying css for table okay so table we will write here and then you have to write the curly bracket then here how many properties is added one two and three font family arial font size small and color is blue that means the content of whole table will be in blue color got it and see the border is not given okay then after that in body tag we have to write the table of course okay when we will write the table then only cs will css will be applied so this is a simple table with you can see 1 2 3 and 4 rows okay first tr second tr third tr and fourth tr opening tr okay that means there are four rows okay and how many columns 1 2 2 th here 2 td here 2 td here okay here also 2 td you can see so contains two columns tables with four rows and two columns this is another table you can see okay same table there is no difference no internal css applied only internal css is there okay that is in the head section where here so this css will be applied so one more thing please note that internal style sheet contains css rules as we learnt in the section 5.4.2a okay so css rules should be there that we should follow and it is enclosed in the style element the style element must have type equals to text slash css this we have to write don't forget it as an attribute for the browser to read internal styles properly so let's see the output you can see both the tables are in blue color and with the same style okay this is the table this is the table this is a text it is different okay now hiding css code from older browsers it is desired that browser shouldn't ever reveal the content of the style tag okay browser will not show the content of the style tag okay even if a browser doesn't support css so it shouldn't display the rules to the user okay css will not be shown to the user only the content which is inside the body tag will be shown to the user so however some very in, uh, ancient earlier browsers okay means old browsers so written before css3 was created and because because these browsers don't know what the style tag is they just display it as html text which is just a mess and totally undesirable and unacceptable now what happens some primitive web browsers okay old web browsers they actually don't understand style tag okay like if we are using css in our html document and if we are using old browsers then what happens that style tag is also visible in the output and that is not desirable okay only the content in the body tag should be displayed in the web browser so what happens so whenever the style tag is there the old browsers are showing it that means they are not able to detect the style tag okay they actually don't know that style tag is uh, some way to insert the style they will simply consider it as html text okay so if you don't want that text to be displayed by the old web browsers okay in new web browsers there is no such problem okay but if you are using old web browsers then what happens like whenever you are using css you simply comment it like this okay you can see the less than symbol exclamation mark and the hyphen okay this is starting and here you have to end before style closing tag so enclose css rules inside comments that is inside this these text to hide from old browsers got it if you have to hide the content which we are writing here like css if we have to hide from the old web browsers then we will simply comment it okay so the css will be applied and then it will not be visible to the user also the older browsers interpret this as just as normal comment and whereas the modern browsers understand the css okay so here old web browsers what it does it simply consider it will simply consider this css like as comment okay so as nearly 
every browsers use these days understand the style tag it's not particularly necessary got it if you are using the latest web browser then this is not compulsory and if you are having the old web browser then you should use it if the style tag is visible in your output okay in the final output so we have not included the css rules as part of comments in this chapter but while writing you should use it if you want to make your web pages old web browsers friendly actually this comment is not the part of the css rule but if you want to include it then you can include because many of the users those who will see your website then they will be able to see this that means that will be a big means they will not understand it actually that what is this code about so if you have to hide it from the old old web browser then you will have to simply comment it okay thank you have a nice day